Kwenye ulingo wa biashara uzaji wa bidhaa uchukua mtazamo na mifumo tofauti katika karne hii ambayo kila kitu kinageuzwa kuwa kidijitali shughuli ya uuzaji pia inageuzwa na kuwa kidijitali kama navoeleza David Kagina ili kupata wateja biashara tofauti ufanya vitu tofauti hata visivyo vya kawaida ikiwemo kuwapa wateja sampuli za buri za bidhaa chapisho kwenye majalada kuweka mabango kando kando ya barabara na hata wakati mwingine kuandalia wateja watarajiwa man kuli ili wapate kuwavutia kwenye karne hii ya kidijitali matangazo haya ya kibiashara yameingilia mfumo wa mawasiliano ikiwemo redio na runinga ambapo matangazo maalum hulipiwa lakini jinsi muda unavyosonga mbinu ya uwasilishaji ujumbe kwa wateja inazidi kuchukua mkando mpya ule wa kidijitali. Kufikia mwezi Januari mwaka 2020 inakadiriwa kuwa takriban watu bilioni 4.54 hutumia mtandao kila siku ikiwa ni asilimia hamsini na tisa ya watu kote ulimwenguni. Hii ina maana kwamba mfumo wa kidijitali ndio mtindo wa kisasa wa uuzaji. Hata hivyo kulingana na mtaalamu wa uuzaji wa kidijitali kutoka taifa la Kenya Jerry Jariwala wengi kwenye biashara wanakosea pakubwa katika juhudi zao za kuhama na kuingia katika uuzaji wa kidijitali most, most businesses nowadays they treat digital marketing like they treat a billboard so they feel like if i just place an ad then people will come and really and truly that's not how digital marketing works Anazidi kuongeza kuwa wafanyabiashara wengi huwa na pupa ya kuuza bidhaa zao na hivyo basi hawachukui muda kujuana na wateja wao. The more expensive the item, the more of a relationship you have with the vendor or the, the shop as a customer. If you think about it when you're buying, you know, some furniture for your house. You know, it's a much longer sales process as opposed to if you were buying a drink from a duka. Hata hivyo, kujuana na wateja hakuji kwa urahisi. Kwa hivyo kuna kazi nyingi inayoendamana na uzaji wa kidijitali pale mitandaoni na kunahitaji ujuzi wa kiwango fulani. You need a graphic designer to design the ad. Then you need someone to uh, actually place it on the web website. So you need a webmaster. Then you need um, a, a method of capturing the information. So you need a database, you need a back end. Um, then you need to be able to communicate with that person when they give you that information so you need a copywriter you need all these different things um, and skill sets in order to be able to convey one type of message so when people say what is digital marketing digital marketing is essentially building a relationship with your prospect using digital tools such as email graphics video but placed that on in a place where it can be consumed using a phone or a, a laptop. Kwa ujumla, Jerry ana ushauri mfupi kwa kila anayepanga kujihusisha na uuzaji wa kidijitali. Take it seriously. A lot of people think that sales, marketing, human resources, accounting are the major pillars of business and I'm not saying they're not. I'm saying that just make sure that you have technology as another pillar. Have it there from the beginning in your mind even if you don't use it. You might start your business using paper and pen, but understand that we're going towards technology in order to to utilize and grow fast, you must have a plan for technology. Kwa kifupi, uzaji kwenye mitandao sio tu upachikaji wa mabango pale mtandaoni. Kwa hivyo kazi sawia inafaa kutiliwa manani kama kwenye uzaji wa bidhaa wa moja kwa moja. David Kagina Switch Adhuhuri Asante sana David Kagina kwa taarifa hiyo maisha yanazidi kubadilika kila uchao kwa hiyo ni lazima twende kwa wakati e, katika kila jambo ambalo tunafanya maishani twende madukani nitarejea katika muda usokuwa mrefu ili nikupashe mengi zaidi lakini usisahau kuzungumza nami tuma ujumbe mfupi kwa nambari mbili mbili tisa, 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 bila malipo ni elezo unatazamo kiasi ya gani na pia tupe maoni kuhusiana taarifa kuu ambazo tunazungumzia hii leo ikiwemo tishio la kumbandua mamlakani gavana wa Nairobi Mike Sonko